Like Superman, 49er running back Roger Craig is a star with a dual personality. He has an intense, physically imposing side and a mild-mannered, rather elusive side. When the two have combined, this beauty and beast of a back, more often than not, has tasted sweet success. Again to Craig, first down, first through 30. Roger Craig is a rare find among NFL running backs, a man possessing sprinter speed, fullback power, and receiver's hands. And he's the only player in NFL history to both rush and receive for over a thousand yards in the same season. Many in the NFL might call Craig the most versatile player in the game, but in San Francisco, they call this three-time Super Bowl champion by something else. They call me catfish because I kind of swim through the holes, you know, and my eyes are really big when I run through the holes, you know, as far as when def the defenders are coming to tackle me. I, uh, my eyes just expand for some reason. I guess the intensity of just, you know, running hard or maybe I'm afraid <laughs> to get hit. I don't know what it is. I haven't figured it out yet. But when I look at Monday's paper after a game, I always see my eyes are like, like, like I saw a ghost out there or something. <laughs> He might appear as a ghost to his opponents with his now you see me, now you don't nature. But the catfish with the oversized eyes has made it crystal clear he is no apparition. And he has shown he needs little room to swim through a hole. Despite his obvious talents as a runner and a stellar collegiate career at Nebraska, Craig was a fish that wasn't landed early in the 1983 draft. He was just the sixth running back taken that year, as many scouts were concerned that his elusiveness alone wouldn't make him an NFL star. The interesting thing about Roger Craig was when he was coming out of college, the knock on him was that he wasn't tough enough. Uh, he wouldn't play hurt, he wouldn't do this, he wouldn't do that. And that's exactly what he's been in the NFL. He's been a real tough guy who devotes himself and his conditioning to toughening his body and being able to take those uh, multiple hits a game. And toughness and attack, it seems that he like attacks tacklers and, and gets tougher at the, before the point of impact. And he takes a lot of punishment. Number 33 has taken his share of shots over the years, but he is like Rocky Balboa. The harder he is hit, the more he is hit, the stronger he seems to get. This guy is just non-stop. I have never seen anyone like him. The closest that's come to him has been Marcus Allen, and Roger takes it that much further. Roger's at his best when he is being confronted with somebody, and he is definitely willing to confront the, the tackler. He is the most aggressive runner in that particular manner that anybody in the league is not the most physical because he, you know at times I think he gets down to around 210 pounds or so but he's certainly attitude wise in my view the most aggressive I really admire what I think is the mental part of his game Craig's boot camp like off-season training has made him a machine physically he's never missed a game in his career but what really makes him strong is his mental toughness I train the mind, you know, I, I, I do the distance to work on my mental aspects so, so I'll be ready for the pounding during, during the year. He can take and give poundings, but he's no dummy. He knows when to hit and when to run. My biggest asset as a runner is I try to change up, you know, I, I, I'll be aggressive one time and then another time I might just be a finesser, you know, as far as faking them out or, or, or not giving them a clean shot. I think you have to change up a little bit. You just can't just be just one style runner. I mean, you have to be able to, you know, mix it up a little bit, just like a boxer. <laughs> I use my knees instead of my 
my, my half fist. <laughs> He'll knock you out with the knees. He, he kicks them so high, man. I tell you, I hate to come off the block trying to hit him. I never, I have never hit him in his legs, and I never will. But I'll hit him in his chest, I'll hit him around his neck, I'll hit him in his head, but I'll never hit him in his legs. Because he has those knees up so high, man, I'm telling you what, you can hurt yourself. You put your head down there, he can rip your head backwards. Roger Craig has had many spectacular runs over his career. There are those when he goes through defenders, and those when he dances his way around. But in 1988, he had a run where he did both. A run that showed his strength physically and mentally. A run that amazes even him to this day. The, the run I had against the Ram a couple years ago, when I broke loose for like 60 yards, I broke like eight or nine tackles. I couldn't believe I did it. You know, even the next day, I looked at films, I was like, did I do that? <laughs> There's a draw up the middle to Craig, and he breaks loose and runs loose. He gets used to the 30, to the 25. He's down to the 20, breaks loose again. He's to the 10, 5, touchdown, 40. the best run of his career and that's highlight real material forever there might be more talented backs in the nfl than roger craig but surely there is no one who works harder he refuses to fail he's a special man whose love of the game has driven him to do everything possible with both his body and mind to become a success what makes roger craig so special is is his heart um, he plays as if he has a heart of a lion. I love being out there, you know, it's just part, it's something that, you know, I love to do. You know, just like anyone else who go to, go to their jobs and they're very successful at it, they love doing it. And, and it's very competitive and, and I thrive on competing. That's in my blood and so that's all athletes have to, you know, look at it that way, you know, um, you have to love it.